momentum did this past Sunday give you now going forward? Um, you know, just being out there and, you know, having, like, the guys around and that, you know, before the evening game that build me up and then, you know, you go out there and make plays and stuff like that. And, you know, you really, like, uplifted me, you know, just to carry on and try to, you know, that's the standard now, so just to keep that up. How do you make sure that it's not a one-off? Like, how do you build Um, practice habits, um, you know, uh, it's kind of the standard and, I don't know. It's just the way I practice and the way I prepare, you know, it's what works for me. Joe was telling us you were hungry for an opportunity, but he thinks the way you perform will make you even hungrier to do it again. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, when you, like, make plays out there, it gets addicting. So, uh, you know, you just want to do it again. So I feel like, you know, it, the feeling feels good. So it's kind of like, you know, you don't want to lose that feeling. Was there a point out there where you just felt like you were playing kind of free and loose? Because it seems like at times you were kind of just out there having fun. Was it just because of play after play stacking up? Yeah, it's, and honestly, it's, it's football. You know, you, you, it's, you're supposed to have fun with it. So, um, you know, just having fun with it and, you know, have, especially having fun with the guys, uh, especially when you win it, um, it means a lot. How much has this version of the secondary practice together besides this week? Um, we practice, honestly, we, we mix and match it. Um, we all get together. So it's, it's like, we all have our, our bond together. And, you know, when someone goes down, it's like the, the next piece of the puzzle just still fits. Last week you were able to jaw out there with you to kind of lead the way. If he doesn't play this Sunday, how will you have to kind of pick up those pieces and make sure that you're out there not having a leader exactly right next to you across from the field with you? Um, I feel like we're all leaders in the room somehow, some way. Um, you know, you know, uh, just me being the young guy. You know, um, I had him, and even if uh, he doesn't play, um, I know he's gonna be there. So you still gonna have him to lean on, and you know, just you gonna have to step up even more. I see the photo behind you of you finger wagging over to the floor, all right? Is that just who you are when you're out there playing? Just big energy, kind of wagging your finger, everything. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly who I am, honestly. Um, you know, I'm a high energy guy. Um, I like to get after people, so I was just a part of my personality. I think you jumped up and down eight times on the pick that you nearly had. Yeah. What was going through your mind there, and what are you thinking now about your next opportunity? Um, you know, it would have been my first pick, you know, uh, as a starter, you know, um, in the regular season, so. Uh, that's probably why, um, but you know, there's more opportunity to come. So, you know, you just gotta be patient, and uh, they'll, they'll come. How do you guys kind of prepare for the environment that you're about to go into? Too? I know every road game is difficult, but you think about a franchise like Pittsburgh, and people are waving the terrible towels around. There's a lot of energy. Like, has there been that kind of focus on just kind of that hostility of the environment towards the locker room? Yeah, it, it's been brought up, and I just feel like. Um, you know that we're ready for it. Um, you know, just the way we've been practicing hard. You know, like what we're going to expect. You know, I've never been there, but um, you know, the guys talk about it. And, you know, I feel like we had a pretty good idea of what we're getting into. So um, I feel like we're, we're ready. What do they say about it? Just from their experience of playing. Um, it's like a hornet's nest, honestly. Um, you know, it's loud, um, crazy environment. So you know, you just got to embrace it.